baseball fans and welcome MLB the show with a good one coming at you it's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Baltimore Orioles first pitch coming at you right after the break Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab in this one, Corbin Burns. The opposing hitters are going to see a lot of cutters. This guy can throw it to the front side of the plate, the back side of the plate, so you're really not able to cheat to get the fat part of the bat on the baseball. Ready to go now. Going so down for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. And a pitch. That one lifted to left. One down. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Here's Mike Trout. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Close, no, but call the ball. One and oh. One down, base is empty. No. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Santander takes the grab on the run. Brandon Drury to the plate. Ball Close one. one doesn't get the call. Oh, and no. that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Cut oh. out and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Middle of the first. No score after a half inning. Back now at Oriole Park. And today's starter, Patrick Sandoval. Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, Look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that one wrapped foul. The old one. Swings ah. through that one for strike two. Two oh, pretty two. nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spin on anything that's down. Got it by him for the K. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when the two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Fall off foul. The lefty fires. Ball. Oh. 
Push Struck through. him out looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Anthony Santander at the plate. First pitch misses. Kicks and deals. Slice down the right side. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Foul ball. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs, bases empty. That's the third. Rendon throw That's first. Out. And the Orioles set down in order. Orioles held in check there. We played an inning. No score. Second inning Leading set to go. Game. And now the right the fielder, right Taylor, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. Ward goes six foot one, batting in the cleanup spot. A former first round pick back in 2015. And a pitch. That what one up. well upstairs. And it's one to know. Just off the inside edge. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. O'Hearn makes the grab one away. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Burns goes six feet, three inches, 245 pounds, and of course has a Cy Young to his credit. Righty delivers. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two balls, no strikes. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Ball three. And another ball. One out, base is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Out to short, Mateo. Throws to first. Two up, two down on the top of the second. Here's the left fielder, Mickey Moniak. 
He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. There's a strike. Moniak, 25 years old, and he's usually in right today, starting in left. That one misses, one. and now it's even one and one. Boog, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. One That's two. down and in. No score here in the second. On the ground to third, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way. But had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So up next, Logan Ohapi. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Righty to the plate. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. The Halos looking to strike first here at the top of the second. Three, and a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Baltimore, Leading bottom off. of the Four second. Warriors. Ryan O'Hearn comes up the to hit. Sandoval back to work. Ah. And immediately pumps in a strike oh. to the left handed hitter. Sandoval. In his fourth year, he features a slider, a changeup, a four seamer, a two seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. On the ground to short. Tosses across the first. That's one out the bottom of the second. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Right through there for a strike. Down, base is empty. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The line of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Ryan Mountcastle stands in now and watches strike one. The pitch. And that is in for a strike. Oh, a two down. 
Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go off. He can go yeah. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back in the top half of the third inning. So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shonowell. The right-hander back to work. And there's a foul ball. The 0-1. That one fouled off. Owen Chu now stays alive. Right hander kicks deals towards first. He steps on the bag and one away in the top of the third. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. The part about Burns' journey that's so interesting, former fourth-round pick out of St. Mary's where he pitched alongside Tony Gonsolin. First oh. offering, and it just misses. But you go back and look at Corbin Burns in 2019. He threw 49 innings and had an 8.82 ERA. Oh. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. The main adjustment that Corbin Burns made was that he got rid of his four seam fastball and really leaned on the cutter. That is his signature pitch. And now today, he is a cutter sinker guy, yeah. and the four seamer really doesn't make much of an appearance. You won. One down, base is empty. Ball that three. one off the mark, and that's ball three. Three ball, one strike. And there's ball, ball four. Now back to the top Luis. of the lineup. Now it's Red the Angels' Rangifo. leadoff man, Luis Rangifo. Fly to left his first time. Double play ball to second. Westberg to second. That's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Nothing doing here this half. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Austin Hayes. No left field here. Austin. Hey. As the lefty gets to work. That's yeah. in there. And it's all in one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. That oh. misses. And it's one and one. And now the lefty. Pass ball for a strike. And it's one and two. And that's in the dirt. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. It's a good breaking ball there. Just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. Mateo now in there at the knees that's strike one the line in the pitch 
in the air center field Trout is there makes the catch for the out batting nine, nine. the second base Jordan, Jordan Westberg the next to hit He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Not even close there. Now one and two. The oh, next two. offering yeah. misses. And the count's even at two. It's a good take. Two outs. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a good eye there. Gunnar Henderson waiting for a turn at the plate. Kicks and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Ground ball right foul side ball. and foul ball. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. <laughs> On the ground right side. He takes it himself Out. to the bag, and that'll do it. Nine straight retired here to start the game. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Mike Trout. Trout. back to work ah. pitches in there going along generally second third time through the lineup you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them looks like he's doing a nice job of it and the old one ball one ball one strike And that's downstairs and outside. That ah. one in there to Mike Trout. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. a strikeout and Chris that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base and the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play but that's how you do it keep him off balance get him out of there and deal with the next guy and next for LA Brandon Drury he was a strikeout victim his first time just no, missed One down, base is empty. Two and there's a ball. Fourth inning underway, no score. In the air, right field. And that's a fair ball! 
the right field. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. He's over one, ah. and that's in there for strike one. No ball, one strike. Drury leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him lifting. Two gone. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Ball. And that one cutting but missing down low. Two outs. Right through yeah. there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one no. missed. Two ball, one strike. The 2-1. On the ground, right side, Westberg. In plenty of time to first, third out. Angels strand one, and we are still scoreless. Bottom of the inning, Leading down the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. The third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. You know, these Orioles just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Here's Adley Rutschman. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Way outside. And the count is one and one. pitch that misses the zone and it's two and one the Orioles yet to pick up a hit here and Three another one. ball first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count and he grounds one to the right side bring Hifo Rutschman retired well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next for the Orioles, Anthony Santander. He's over one. Out to short, Neto. Sends it to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back now at Oriole Park. New inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. 
And the right hander back to work. That's that clips try. the corner. You know, these Angels need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. Oh, no, that makes it, it really difficult to generate runs. Here's a 1 1. Inside. Good eye in that spot. And a pitch. Look out. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Left hand batter waits. Swings and misses, struck him out. And now, Logan Ohapi struck out swinging his first time. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Strike two. Oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And the pitch. And now one and two. And it skips in the dirt. Two hitters really making him work out there. Only 14 pitches this inning. One down, base is empty. Chopper right side. Westberg tosses to first. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. No, no, no. The first baseman, Nolan. And here's the first baseman, Nolan Shadowell. 0 for 1 so far. Wings through that. He's pitching well, but not oh, throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That's now ball. one and one. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next oh, offering dude. is in for a strike. And that's in the dirt. the middle and it's a one two three inning so they've been held scoreless through five and we still have no score back here in Baltimore we head to the bottom of the fifth here's the oil cleanup here Ryan O'Hearn The lefty fires. O'Hearn oh, in his fifth season, 30 no years start. old now, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2014. Oh, 
Line drive caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove. But you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Cedric Mullins getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. He's controlling no, things down. out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. But why to kick the pitch? Swing yep. and a miss. Looked off balance One that ball. time. One Man, point. that was pretty gross right there. Ball to strike. And a ground ball to first. Shadowell takes it to the back. All man for the fifth inning moving along. Two the quick back, outs. Six, designated hitter. Ryan. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle measures six feet four inches, 220 pounds, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated ball. hitter. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play, and there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So ball. a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. Two balls, no strike. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. In ball. for a strike, and it's two and one now. Swing and a ball popped up. Rendon makes the catch inning over. So five perfect innings in the books. No score. And we're back. Leading on the batter will be the shortstop, the shortstop. Zach Neto. Zach Neto. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Righty deals. Gonna count one, one and two. And here it comes. Yeah. And that one cutting but missing down low. Two two down. That one down the line, oh. and that's just foul. The 2 2. Just oh, misses the mark outside the zone. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And he deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. pitch the punch out there he didn't make it easy for him on the mound but they still get the strikeout so the batting order turns over now it's the Angels leadoff man Luis Rangifo first offering in the dirt And a foul ball. And a 
foul ball. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Yeah, the right hander deals. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is gone. Touchdown, Utah Street. A gigantic blast. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. It's pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now batting, Mike Trout. And that one fouled off. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, Ball. regardless of how things were going. One, one. It made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a you great won. place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. And a pitch. Fouls one off. To a two. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Righty delivers. Ripped to short. On to O'Hearn. Got him, second. That's it out. Brandon. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. One for two. And that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Two down. Nobody on. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two outs. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Kicks and fires. Slider misses outside. Man, he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Righty to the plate. Hex and misses. It's a strikeout. Halo strike first with the solo shot. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to Leading the ballpark. Now the Warriors. left fielder, Austin no Hayes. Austin Hayes. The line of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. That misses the zone. And one and one. And fouled off. He 
He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And now the lefty. One hit to right. And that lands in no man's land a foul ball. And just misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Hit on the ground, and it gets through. Just like that, the perfect game is gone. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. No outs. Runner at first. And stepping in is the speedy Jorge Mateo. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Two strikes. Backed off the plate that time. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. With the go-ahead run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up in the scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. Two two. Sharp grabber. That's through for a base hit. Hayes coming around third. The throw is offline. He's safe. We're tied at one. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. It kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Whisper in the box now. Take strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Snap throw to first. Mateo back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. That one, one misses. And the count is one and two. Mateo on at first. Nobody out. One well, chase two. that time. Way to lay off that pitch down. Oh. Got him. And that's the first out. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up. The two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul.
Left hand hitter waits. And that one fouled off. Looked like he got a little excited on that fastball. You gotta think to yourself, you wanna stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark, if you're a little late, opposite field not. Got him swinging for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper no, puts on thing. some type of hit and run or run and hit. Here comes a pitch. Oh. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. Big swing and a miss. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. No. Just off the inside corner. Two ball. Now two, two and strike. two. Three Struck three. him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even at one apiece. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Dylan Tate. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Orioles. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Ward. Taylor. The wind and the pitch. Breaking ah. ball in there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. CNL Perez up and loosening in the pen. That one misses. Ball one. Popped up. O'Hearn has this one sized up. And there's one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And it's caught for the out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now that Here's the left fielder, Mickey, Mickey. Moniak. Moniak. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Lifted in the air, out to left. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Offense held in check there. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. All tied, 1-1. One, one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Moore. Number 55, Matt Moore. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. And the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Center that's well struck. Ranging back. Drops 
Gets in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Safe at second with nobody out. And that double has the go-ahead run in scoring position. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Ryan O'Hearn digs in now. No. Just missed. One ball, no strike. Go ahead, run at second. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Close no, one. Does it get the call? You and now 2 0. Movement in the bullpen. Luis Garcia, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Just miss. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. The pitch. And that's, that's too ball. high. Ball ball. Four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy the player is not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Fall off foul. No outs, runners at first and second. Pitch misses way outside. That's Just down. missed. That's a really good take. Fights it off. You'll see another. Okay. Just misses there. At this point of the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. First and second here, no outs. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Got him looking. And that is a big first out. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No oh, question yeah, yeah. about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that. And I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Two on, one out. And now here is Ryan Mountcastle. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. No, and that's the, ball. the inside edge. Now ball. three and one. Austin Hayes waiting on deck for the Orioles. The pitch. 
And fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Uh -huh. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go ahead run at second base. But job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before he can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this whole crowd applying so much pressure. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. And it will play. Now a long throw home. But it's offline. He will score. It's 2 1. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So first and second with two outs. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. Fouled off. He was late. Two on, two outs. Ball, Just ball. off the outside edge. Just One missed more. with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. And that one is in the dirt. Ball two. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Two outs. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Orioles two and the Angels one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Craig Kimbrell. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. And yeah, the batter now, Logan Ohoppy. Logan Ohoppy. And here it comes. That one close, rule the ball. And that's ball one. Looking to get the tying run on base. And there's a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Yenier Cano, the closer of the staff, is thrown. And a pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. A good start with a leadoff down. All over that no, one right no. there. Everything the was on time and fluid no, in that no, swing. No. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. No outs. Runner at first. And now the first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. There's a strike, 95 of that one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Oh, one now. Bounding ball here, rolls foul.
Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So digging in, Zach Neto. A strikeout and a walk. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Holding on to a one run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Right through there for a strike. Oh, now he may not like either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And he'll two. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. And the righty deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So. They haven't been able to move that runner off, get him in the scoring position and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. So the lineup flips over. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. And that's down and away. Right now, they're looking for something. Hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Leads off first with two down to the inning. That one at 95 missed up top at a count two and one. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Trail it here, two to one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Adam Simber. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And here is Jordan Westbrook. Simber, a 6'3 righty, 33 years old, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2013. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And it's fouled away. The 1-1 one, one. comes up empty. That's strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Simber is ready. Good eye right there. 2-2. And that one is lifted in the air. And that's a fair ball.
He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the three. umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. He was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. He swings and misses at the first pitch. No ball. One. one strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Hit on the ground might be two. Ring Hifo. Feed to second. That's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. And now the catcher comes up to him. Adley Rutschman. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And that one fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball there. One run game. One out. One on. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Kicks and deals. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. One down. Now here is Anthony Santander. One for three. First pitch just misses. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Two on, one out. And that one wrapped foul. And he deals. That pitch in for a strike. And a count one and two. One out. Runners at first and second. Bows it off. Still one and two. And the right hander deals. Ball. And another ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Wouldn't chase three. that time. Nasty backdoor slider. Oh, There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Pitch. He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. So, first and second with two outs. Digging in, Ryan O'Hearn. Out towards right center field. Ward sizing it up. Makes the catch. And the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. They lead it 2 1.
We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Yenier Cano. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. The pitch. In the air, right side. Santander drifts towards it. Pulls it in for the out. That's a big first out right there, and that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Drury in the box here lets that one go for a ball. ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. You get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. One down, base is empty. Ball, go. Taylor Wood to bat next. Okay. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. And that's outside, and it's one and one. Clips a corner. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Fights that one away. Still one and two. up first base side but it's foul just ball. foul pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss third foul ball in a row and ball that two. one hit 97 on the gun definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open Next oh, offering yeah. misses, and the count's full. Anthony Rendon on deck for the Angels. And a pitch. Check swing, oh. appeal to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Angels down to their final out. Anthony Rendon will hit next. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Swings through that oh, one. one. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Oh, Wouldn't one. chase that time. The pitch. Lift it to left, and this should do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Orioles strand the tying one on base to win. 
great pitchers doing in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.